Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Tony Henderson Mayers. I'm a television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur. I own Word Therapy Publishing and Alphabet Theater Workshop. But many of you know me as Wise Courtship because of my book with a three-step system, it will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And this is moments of inspiration and in prayer, where we come together for about a half an hour to really um, go through the scriptures, you know, pray over our concerns, and of course, leave you to go out the door with a bunch of encouragement, right? <laughs> so take this time to go ahead and invite, and I'm going to do that to myself while you guys come on. I usually do it ahead of time, but I forgot to do it this time, so I'm going to make sure I do that, and as I'm doing that, make sure you greet me as you come in onto this broadcast, make sure you greet me. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and share this broadcast. For so many people who um, listen to us on a regular basis. And you all you have to do is just click right down there. Yeah, you can share it on Periscope, um, share with all your followers. You can tweet it out. Um, and you can. Um, also, um, here we go. Show all your followers and put it on Facebook. <laughs> the other thing you can do is, um, if you're on Facebook Live, you can share by clicking down there. You can invite people into a watch party. Um, if not, you can share it onto your timeline. And of course, you can invite individual people into the broadcast. And so I'm so excited to uh, do this with you. So I'm going to speak up because moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer start right now. So welcome each and every one of you. I'm going to check the chat box in one moment, okay? I'm going to check it in one moment. Um, but first I want to finish sharing because I haven't, I forgot to share ahead of time like I normally do. So let me go ahead and share into these uh, groups that normally come into the broadcast. Um, while you're doing that, um, we're going to be reading um, from Philippians um, 2, 1 through 4. So why don't you go ahead and, and go to that while we're sharing and make sure you share. Okay, make sure you share. Um, let's see. Somebody else I wanted to share with before I get off of here. Well, there's a couple more. Um, all right, so we're going to Philippians 2, 1 through 4, and I'm going to read the New International Version. Well, am I? I may do that, and then I will definitely end up with the message um, Bible version. So if you have either one, you should be good. Either one, you should be good. Okay. I got to share one more time, guys. Um, thank you for joining. I see the numbers coming up. That means you're watching me um, either via the web or Twitter. Hey, Twitter. Hey, those who are watching me via the web, um, you're watching me via my website, which is www.wisecourtship.com. I'm still sharing, y'all. Give me just one more minute. And I think I missed somebody. Let me just go back to it one more time because I think I missed somebody that I was going to share with. So let me just check one more time. Um, yeah, let me do that. There we go. We are all set. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the scripture. 
All right, so um, Philippians 2, 1 through 4. I'm going to read the New International Version first, and then I'm going to read, um, and guys, I'm in my little, um, my uh, what it, holidays, Memorial Day outfit already because um, I'm having uh, work done on the house, and I can't get to most of my clothes, okay? <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Uh, Philippians 2, 1 through 4, and I'm reading from the Message Bible, okay, the Message Bible. If you've gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life, thank you for watching. Um, let me get to my chat box. I see you guys coming in. Hello there, Tracy. Good to see you. So we're in Philippians 2, 1 through 4. If you have gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life, if being in a community of the spirit means anything to you, if you have a heart, if you care, then do me a favor. Agree with each other. Love each other. Be deep spirited friends. Don't push your way to the front. Ooh, I felt that. <laughs> Don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be upset, obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. Um, hey, Bobby Key, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, there's Wendy on your husband's account. Good to see you, Wendy Key. Good to see you. Look, I'm in my, uh, my um, Memorial Day outfit already because I can't get to most of my clothes because my house is being uh, repaired. It seemed like it's being renovated, okay? That's because we have gutted out so many rooms. But anyway, I read Philippians 2, 1 through 4. Let me put that up for you guys. Let me put that up. Yes, child, I'm in my memorial stuff already. Stuff I wear around the house. But anyway, here we go. We did Philippians 2, 1 through 4. We read the Message Bible. And I'm going to focus on verse 4. Don't be, uh, don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. And so all of this, all of this is just so good, guys. All of this is so juicy. It's so wonderful. This is a letter written um, from Paul to the Philippian church. And it is often referred to as a unity, a unity scripture, you know, calling people to be unified. Um, but, you know, I got to focus on several things here because today we're going to be talking about support others, support others. I, I wrote a post uh, the other day about um, um, expecting people to support you when you haven't supported others. Let me get myself together there. When you haven't supported others. That is so uh, interesting, guys, because um, the society that we live in, we push, 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 push all the time. We push to get to the top. We push to be in a lead. And when I was reading um, the part of the scripture that says, don't push yourself to the front, I was thinking of a leader that we all know and love who pushed themselves to the front during a world conference. Wow. Somebody put wow in the chat box. Wow. <laughs> you know, these scriptures that we have here, and I read from the Message Bible, okay? <laughs> you said, let you go into your account, okay. Um, the scriptures that we, that we read are so, so appropriate even for today. Because we, if you're watching from the U.S., you know exactly what I mean. In some other countries, there are little different stories, but there's always a group of us who want to push our way to the top. We want to get what we want at all costs. We want to rally people to support us. We want to rally people to, to, to take care of the tasks, the mundane tasks of every day so that we can get to a level that we're seeking and as we are utilizing people or using people to get us to the top or get us to our destination, sometimes we forget about the fact that we should turn around and support others. Sometimes it's turning around. Sometimes it's right next to you. Sometimes it's ahead of you. But it's about supporting one another. And let me just say, let me just say, I, you know, I, I teach and try to teach the truth no matter what. OK, whether I'm doing it or not doing it, it's still the truth. Right. But I have a tendency <laughs> to teach things that I have already done myself. 
that I practice, that I put into practice, right? Hey, LMB, good to see you. Good to see you on today. I try to do, I try to teach what I, I'm doing myself. And I am a person who will support. Anybody who's watching this broadcast, anybody who knows me, knows that I support. My, my church as a leader, you know, I was there for everything. Anybody else? Been there for everything. I'm at funerals. I don't even know the people, okay? Supporting the family, praying for the family. And I love to do that. I have no problem doing that. I'm coming to your service, whether I'm not a part of your uh, membership or not. If I know you speaking, I'm traveling, coming to see you and support you. If you need something, I'm dropping stuff off at your house. But very often, dear ones, oh my gosh, somebody help me on this. Very often, dear ones, we go out our way to support folks. But when it's time for us to get support, we can't find it. But here we see in the scripture that we ought to support one another. But but what's what's funny about this scripture or what's interesting about this scripture? And I'm just talking casual today, y'all. I'm not even trying to get real deep and sweaty and all that stuff because it's 90 degrees in North Carolina, maybe over now. <laughs> <It's hot. laughs> so I, look, I'm just trying to casually go through this. But listen, there's a lot of ifs in this scripture. I F ifs. OK, there's a lot of ifs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. There's a lot of ifs in this scripture. If let's go back to um, we for those who don't know, we're Philippians two. For those who don't know, uh, we're in Philippians two, one through four, and I read it through the Message Bible. Okay, I read it through the Message Bible. Um, let's go back through this. Let's go back through this. I want you to see something here. Let me get back to my comments here. If you've gotten anything out of following Christ, that's if. Okay, if. His love has made a difference in your life. That's another if. If being in a community of the spirit means anything to you. If you have a heart. If you care. Then do me a favor. This is Paul writing. Agree with each other. Oh my God. Love each other. Mm. Be deep-spirited friends. Don't push your way to the front. I know I'm reading again, but it's worth hearing, y'all. Don't sweet-talk your way to the top. Put yourself to the side and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. Oh my gosh, I feel something right there. Listen, all of these ifs are predicated on the fact that you have a certain, um, you're, you're standing on a certain foundation. It's predicated on the fact that you have Christ in your life. See, if you don't have Christ in your life, you're liable to do anything. Okay, we, 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 we expect you might be selfish, and it might, because some people are not selfish, but we expect you might do anything. But for those who say that they are called, that they're going to heaven anyhow, they fire baptized, they, they speaking in tongues, they barking like a dog, foaming at the mouth, rolling on the floor, all of that stuff, which is good, okay? <laughs> but you say you're doing all of this, you, you, you blood washed. So if you are all of these things, then Paul says, do this. He says, agree with each other. Oh my God. Somebody put agree with each other in the chat box. We don't always see eye to eye. It does not mean that you're going to be a yes person. But what it does mean is that you're going to keep peace. OK, because there's a scripture that says try to keep peace with men at all times. It doesn't mean you're going to always agree on everything, but it does mean that you agree to disagree. It does mean that you're not, not going to go after the person. You're not going to go after the juggler. Learn how to get along with other folk. It also says if. If you are all these things you say you are, love each other. And this is one of the things that is so difficult for so many people to do is love. And I think maybe because we think love in a romantic way, kissy poo poo. It's not all about that. Thank you so much for so many people are watching. Some of you guys are watching. You're not uh, speaking on the platform, but come on in so I can greet you. OK, <laughs> come on in. And some of us, this is so hard for us to do is to love the person because we think of love in a romantic way. But God is talking about love in an agape way. 
we have to get to the point that we can love as God loves. And I know that's difficult to do. I know that's difficult to do. But when you have God inside of you, things get a little bit easier. At least not to the point where you're hating on somebody. At least not to the point where you're wishing someone ill or that you can't turn around and support someone else. Oh, my gosh. It also says, if you are this person, be deep spirited friends. We're connected, whether you know it or not. Guys, we are connected. Somebody put that in the chat box. We are connected. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all God's creatures. And it disturbs me when someone who says they love God, go to church every day, Bible toting, and you are racist. Huh? You're sexist. Oh, my goodness. You're against old people. You're against young people. You down this person and you down that person. That's very disturbing because we are to be deep spirited friends. How can we be deep spirited friends? Because we have God's spirit in us. You know, I've gone to different conventions that brought people around the world together. I've gone to conferences that brought people around the United States together. And it's something about meeting a person who is also uh, loves God. Here's an automatic connection. We have Wendy Key on here, and I've said that to her. We have an automatic connection. But that connection comes from God. You know your family. <laughs> when you see somebody else who's in Christ, you know your family. There's no way in the world you ought to have hate in your heart because we are all part of God's family. And so if, if, somebody put if in the chat box, if you are all that you say you are, oh, my God, then... You're not going to push your way to the front. Listen, I do believe, I do believe, dear ones, that we ought to prepare. I do believe we ought to train. I do believe that we ought to, you know, cease the opportunity, uh, seize the moment. I believe we ought to do all of that. That's great. And that's wonderful. But pushing yourself to the top is not part of it. Because uh, somebody say God's timing. If you do what you need to do, if you study and you prepare, God will open the door. Oh, my gosh. You don't have to flip your business card. You don't have to listen what it says here in the scripture, pushing your way to the top and, and sweet talking your way to the top. You don't have to do all of that. Oh, my gosh. Because we trust God. We trust that God's timing is well. It's good. We trust that God will open the right door at the right time. Doesn't mean that you won't prepare. Doesn't mean that you don't do what you need to do. But we don't have to slit throats and cut throats and jump in line and push people to the side because we want to get ahead. We're talking about supporting others, guys. And I know sometimes people think supporting others and that message just means, oh, we just need to come on and bring bring some cakes and, and bring some cookies. And when the person dies, we're going to bring some toilet paper and then we're going to um, we're going to all come by and have a cookout. And and if they need some money, we're going to slip some. That's always good. Somebody say that's good. We're going to slip some money in their hand. But it's support is also realizing that you are not the only person that lives in the world. Oh, my gosh. Good to see you, Daryl. Good to see you. Support means that you are not the only person that lives in the world. Now, listen, I know I'm talking to some wonderful people here and you guys are really in Christ and y'all trying to do the good thing. So that's why I need for you to share this broadcast. OK, because <laughs> somebody else may need to hear this. Somebody else may really need to hear this because in the society that we live in, it's opposite of this. Somebody put it's opposite. In this society, at least in the United States of America, for all my friends who are watching me around the world. In this society, we believe we got to push ourselves to the top. We got to put our best foot forward. I even hear conversations going from the top all the way down. We, we're, we got to be the best or we are the best or we're number one. Who's measuring all of this stuff? Who says we got to be number one? Why can't we just be good? Why can't we just be excellent? Why can't we just outdo ourselves? Oh, nobody's going to help me today. Anybody saying anything in the chat box? <laughs> Thank you so much. Why are we in competition with someone else? Because here it tells us don't even push your way to the front. Don't even sweet talk yourself to the top. If you are in God, good to see you, C4C Global. Good to see you. If you are in God and you are right where you need to be, you will always come out on top. 
Somebody put, I will always be on the top. You will always be the head and not the tail. If you are in the spot that you need to be, even when it seems rocky sometimes, even when it seems like it's not going to work out, you are exactly where you need to be. And you don't have to be in competition with nobody. Oh my God. I don't have to worry about what Tracy doing, what LB poetry. I'm trying to write poetry better than LB. Why am I trying to write poetry better than LB, L and B? Why don't I just write the poetry I write? Why don't I just write the plays God gives me? Why don't I just write the scripts? Why don't I just write whatever God's given me, the sermons, whatever God has given me to write? Why don't I just do that and be the best at what God has given me? Oh, my God. Whew, I feel that. Somebody need to bring somebody into the broadcast. And what's sad sometimes, even on social media. Oh, that's LaDonna. I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was you, girl. But I want to come up my face and say, see, that's why I should always go with the prophetic, right? Y'all pray for me. <laughs> yes, indeed. But look, we, even on social media, I got more likes and I got more followers and I got more. Listen, none of that means a hill of beans if you're not effective. We're talking about supporting one another, guys. And this is why, somebody put this is why, this is why I don't have a problem with successful people. I don't have a problem with that. I got a whole lot of friends that successful and it don't bother me. It don't bother me none. Okay. <laughs> I cheer them on. I come to their graduation. I support them in their, in their, in their, um, their, uh, promotion parties and everything that they're doing when they have their books, you know, I celebrate them. I'm not in competition with you because if I listen to what God has for me, I have tunnel vision. I don't have time to look at what you're doing unless God tells me to collaborate with you, unless God tells me to work with you because I am so laser focused. Oh my God, somebody put laser focus up here. I'm so laser focused on what God has for me to do that I don't have time to hate. I don't have time to be trying to stop you. And see, that's what sometimes, unfortunately, even in our churches, when people see an anointing on you, when they see a calling on you, when they see a gifting on you, the first thing they do, try to block you, try to stifle you, try to shut you up, try to move you to the side, try to accuse you or try to take their church and stuff. Ain't nobody trying to take your church, child. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to take your church, all right? Ain't nobody thinking about your church, all right? <laughs> Y'all pray my strength in the Lord, honey. But I listen, I know some people who are some people are watching on the outside because they are um they are um they are on the web, they're watching via Twitter. But some people are watching this broadcast on the outside because they don't want to come in. Because guess what? They're trying to push their way to the top. They don't want to support. I don't want to see my I don't want to support Tony because because this, I don't want to support her because of that. Tell the truth and shame the devil, y'all. Y'all know I'm telling the y'all know I'm telling the truth. Sometimes we don't come on people's broadcast because yes, right, spectators. Okay. Spectators and people who got something to say, they don't want to support that. I can't touch to come in because I it's I don't I can't even come up with a reason. Because it's not a good enough reason. It's not a good enough reason. I don't want to support this business because you know she might get a two cent more than me. Oh my gosh, help us Holy Ghost, help us God. Not realizing that when we support other people, it's that, that action itself is what pushes us forward. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Here, let's go back to the scripture. It says, put yourself to the side. I believe I'm at verse three. We're, um, we're in um, uh, Philippians two, one through four. I'm, I believe I'm in verse three. Don't push your way to the, well, no, no let me go down. Put yourself to the side and help others get ahead. Now, you know, we a lot of us got problems with that. Oh, my gosh. A lot of us got problems with that. Push myself to the side. What you mean? Push myself to... I'm not talking about letting people treat you like a doormat. I'm not talking about letting people beat up on you and treat you... You, you know, some people, some people, some of us get crazy when we when we say we holy. We get crazy. We were we supposed to walk in like this and you can talk to us any old kind of way and you can send us and, and fetch us like we step and fetch it. We just, yes, and praise God and hallelujah. No, I'm not talking about that. You can be exactly who you are. You can still serve, but you got boundaries. Somebody put boundaries in there. 
Nobody has a right to abuse you or misuse you. If you see your gifts and talents aren't being used and the Lord say, move, you move. Okay. So you don't have to be mistreated, but it's not about you. Oh my gosh. Is anybody listening today? It's not about you. It's about God. It's always been about God. I don't care if you got the top position. It's it's not about you. It's about God. I don't care if you got men shining your shoes before you get up in the morning and tying your tie and dusting off your nails and doing all of this stuff before you get up and deliver the word. And, and then they got to carry a train and you got to have 15 people open the door when you walk through the door. It's not about that. Good to see you, William Michael Barbie. Good to see you. It's not about you. <sighs> Somebody not getting this. I believe the people here is getting it. That's why I need you for y'all to share because somebody is not getting this. It's not about you. It's about God. Whatever he's giving you to do is about moving his agenda forward, not yours. I know you said, well, I got this gift and, and I got a hankering for this and, and I got the gift to do that. And, and I want, but you have that because God put it in you. I can't seem to get off of this. I really want to get moving to the prayer and the encouragement, but I can't seem to get off of this. Somebody go ahead and share this broadcast, please. <laughs> so the right person can get this message. If this is blessing you, please let me know it's blessing you. We're in, uh, we're in Philippians 2, 1 through 4. And it also says, put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Oh, God. Let me make it through this. Because some of us have a problem with that. We got a problem with that. We got a problem with that. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you from my own experience, because I've helped so many people do so many things. And when you look for them to help, you can't even find them. You can't even find Help me get to the top. But when I get to the top, who you? Uh, what's your name again? Y'all come on and support my ministry. But when you see somebody else trying to do something, uh, I don't have the time. I, I well, you know, and uh, put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Because the more of us that get ahead, the more of us are going to be able to enjoy, enjoy life. We're going to be able to see the fruits of God's labor from from the East Coast to the West Coast. We're going to be able to see that, dear ones. I said, I tell people in my private community all the time, I, this is my mantra. I said, build your platform and build the platform that's building you. Oh, gosh. Because we believe in helping you build your platform. We'll help you build it. But then you need to help build the platform that built you. Oh, God. And some of us, we can't get that concept. And I tell them, I say, you have a platform here. And if we build your platform, that's just one platform, boo. But if you help build the other platforms that's been building you, now you got several platforms that you can stand on. Oh, y'all didn't get it. Y'all didn't get it. Y'all didn't get it. Let me just do it in this terms. I'm, I'm in theater, right? I have own a theater company. So let's just say I help you build your theater. Now you can perform on that theater all you want, right? Because I helped you build it. You built it. We all helped you build it. You can, it's yours. You can, you can perform on it. But if you help me build mine and the other person who helped build yours, now you got three stages you can stand on. Okay. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. We're talking about support others. And in some cultures, somebody say some cultures. Y'all know who I'm talking about. In some cultures, we have an issue with this. I can't get off of this. I really want to get to the prayer, y'all, but I can't get off of this. But in some cultures, we have an issue with this. We can't understand the concept of this. Oh, my gosh. And when I say build platforms, when the Bible here is talking about helps others get ahead, that's going to take some time. Somebody put some time in there. That's going to take some investment. There's so many platforms that I help build. And, and if I was to walk in there now, they'd be like, who are you? Okay. 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 All right. Maybe this, is this, is this too raw for the afternoon? Y'all let me know if this is just too much, but we got to do better. Somebody put that in the chat box. We got to do better. Oh, these are some good comments y'all. Hey, La, good to see you, darling. She said, true. Some people are afraid to help others because they want to be the only one shining. And if you're the only one shining, when you get too tired to shine, it's dark. You won't get light from any place else. 
When you get too sick to shine, you just go out because you won't have nobody else to help you. We all going to get old, guys, and we all going to die one day. And if we don't help other people be, when we get older, we're going to be in a hot mess. We got to build the world we want to see. We got to build up the youth and the young people that we want to see better. Good to see you, Lakeisha. We've got to invest. In, in you know, Most of y'all know me as Wise Courtship. I'm already married. Been married 25 years, almost 26 years. I could just go home and sit down and read a book and burp and belch and say, oh, well, I'll see y'all later. Y'all do you. But I take the time to invest in other people who are looking to have the love they always wanted, to have a great marriage in their lives. Why? Because if we don't get in and do the work, we will not see it. After a while, you'll see people all over the place doing all kinds of things. Oh, my God. Lakeisha, help me, girl, because I can't get off this. I can't get off this right now. I can't get off this. We got to do better. The scripture says, don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. You can get an advantage. You can move ahead. You can work hard. You can reach the top, but don't be obsessed with it. Somebody put, don't be obsessed. Somebody put, don't be obsessed. And that's the problem. Good afternoon to you, darling. That's the problem. So some of us are obsessed. I'm, I'm making it up the corporate ladder. And what is the ladder propped on? When you get up to the top of the ladder, what's up there? Oh, my gosh. Because if you kicked everybody on your way up, you have nobody to sit and talk with and talk about how exciting it was. You know, I've worked for myself for a long time. Some of y'all are just now doing online businesses, but I have my own business for 30 years. I started off as a young adult. 30 years I've been doing business and it went from a brick and mortar, a place that you park your car and you go inside to a home based business when people weren't doing home based business to home based and Internet business back when nobody was doing Internet. But, you know, what the sad part about having a business and being home all the time and can walk around and you got basically an early retirement. The sad thing is, is you don't have a whole lot of people to share that with. And that's the same situation here, that if you're pushing your way to the top and kicking people down the ladder and all this kind of thing and not helping others to get where they are, you will be up there all by yourself. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's right. We are a team. Oh, my goodness. Let's finish this up, guys. Forget yourselves long enough. We didn't say forget yourselves completely. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. Why in the world? I, a, a great, a great indicator. I hope y'all listening to me on the overflow. A great indicator of someone who's not used to having what they have, who may have came up with far less is the way they treat other people. It's a great indicator. It's a great indicator. It's a great, it doesn't have to be but very often, sometimes people who have come in the grew up in the worst circumstances, sometimes the people who have grown up in the worst conditions, sometimes the people who have haven't had any money to put together when they get where they think they should be. That's the top because to me, the top is heaven. But those who think they may have made it to the top, sometimes those people are quickly to forget about where they come from. They don't have time to lend a helping hand to anybody. And notice it says lend a helping hand. That means time. That means investment. Sometimes it's money. But sometimes, guys, we got to roll up our sleeves and help. Sometimes we got to get on our knees with them and pray. Good to see you, Pastor Payne. Sometimes we've got to roll up our sleeves and do the work. We've got to mop the floor. Sometimes we've got to clean the person up. Sometimes we. it's not just about throwing some money on the counter sometimes, guys. It's about being present. Oh, my gosh. Today, we talked about supporting others. Support others. Support others. Don't just get these people in your ministries, in your businesses, in your churches, and you just, that it's just all about you. It's all about you, and it's never about them. I have a problem when you are getting richer and richer, and everybody else around you is getting poorer and poorer, but they support you. They pushing you up, they propping you up, they helping you.
but their businesses is not going forward. They're not getting anything out of it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to stop, Makisha. I'm really trying to stop. Lord God, I'm trying to stop. We got to do better. We got to do better. Thank you, sis. Somebody say we got to do better. There's no way in the world that it should only be about you and it's not about us. It's supposed to be about us and not about you. <laughs> because God has always been in the us business. He's always been concerned about all of us. And if you got, this is how the scripture started with if, if, if you got all of that, the Holy Ghost, you got Jesus anyhow, if you fire baptized, if you go into heaven anyhow, if you got all of that, then you ought to be able to support others. Oh my God. Let's go, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Woo, my God. I feel that right there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. And let me put this little header up here because you know, so people won't think I'm I'm not speaking to them. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and go before the Lord in prayer. And when I put these glasses back on, I want you to go ahead and put your um, prayer request up. That's right. We got to do better. Yes, indeed. I can't read this. Look, I got to read. Look, I got to put my glasses back on to read the comments. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So let's go before the Lord in prayer. And uh, when I put the glasses back on, then go ahead and put your prayer requests up. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We honor you, oh God. We lift you up. We magnify you. We give you all honor, glory, and praise. God, we just ask forgiveness for the things that we've done wrong, the things that we know we should have done, but we haven't done. You said that we would confess our sins. You would be faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive us when we don't support others. Forgive us when we work people and work them without supporting them. We may say thank you but we don't turn around and really support them. When, when we don't see what they need, when we don't see uh, into their lives, oh God, forgive us when we just try to push ourselves forward and push ourselves to the top without any regard for someone else. God, forgive us. Anybody else want to ask God to forgive them? God, we just love you. We bless you, God. We just um, thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for food, clothing, and shelter. We thank you for this beautiful day and this medium called Facebook and Periscope. For those who are joining us on Periscope, we thank you for social media where we can come together, even in this pandemic, to praise you, to learn of your scriptures, to pray to you, oh God, to worship you, to get encouragement. God, we just bless you. God, we pray for the bereaved families, uh, Miles family, Smith family, Mule family. God, we pray for them, the Coleman family, oh God, uh, the uh, Bonner family. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray for them. God, we just pray for every person who is on this broadcast, especially the Wise Portrait family, those who listen to the broadcast, who come to the conferences, who hear us on the radio, God. We pray for them. We pray for every mother on this broadcast, oh God. Uh, we pray for every um we pray for every father on this broadcast in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for Laws uh children's book um and her self-publishing project, oh God. We Cover that right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and put your prayer requests up if you have them at this time. God, we pray for every business owner on this broadcast, whether it's small businesses, big, medium-sized business, big businesses, oh God. Help them to be laser-focused for what it is you have them to do, oh God. We pray for every minister and pastor on this broadcast, God. Touch them. All, all those who will be watching us on the replay, those who are watching us on the overflow, God, touch them right now. We pray for your finances to be increased. We pray for your spiritual connection with God to be increased. God, we pray for the love and the support of others to be increased in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and put your prayer requests up before I end this prayer. God, we pray uh, for everyone who is uh, searching God desperately at this moment for an answer. God, we know that you hear us. We know that you will uh, hear our cry. God, we know that your timing is perfect. And so we touch and agree right now, God, for those who are needing you desperately right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, I feel that someone is really not doing well, God. So we touch and agree for healing, 
from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. You said by Jesus stripes, we are healed. And so God, we pray for them right now. God, we pray for the sick and the homeless. Yes, everywhere. God, we pray for them right now, God. Even the gentleman that I saw sleeping on the mattress, even today, God, we pray for them. Whatever they need, if there's sickness in the mind, if there's sickness in the body, if there's sickness in the spirit, God, heal them in the name of Jesus, oh God, so that they can get right. We pray for the salvation of our family, friends, loved ones, and for the world, oh God, that people will receive you as their um, savior. God, we pray for uh, LaDonna's sons. God, a special prayer over them that they will grow to be men who will serve you filled with the Holy Spirit, God, that whatever chosen profession that they have, that they will dedicate it totally to you, oh God, that they, in this in this time, in this future time that they will live in, that they will be a beacon of light in this dark world. Consecrate them now, oh God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, that they will be leaders over their families, that they will be loving husbands to their wives, that they will be leaders in the church and in the kingdom, God, that they will uh, grow up to be men that you will be proud of and that you will be able to utilize throughout their entire life in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and put your prayer requests up before I end this prayer. God, I pray for our young people everywhere. Fill them now, God, with the Holy Spirit. Raise up an army of those who will serve you, who will watch, fight, and pray, who will know the scriptures, oh God, and speak the very oracles of your word. Um, whenever they move, wherever they go, oh God, that they will be a light, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you and we praise you. And there are some prayer requests that possibly were too private to share on this public forum, um, possibly too personal to discuss with anyone but you know them and you know the situation, oh God. So God, we lift them up before you so that you will hear their prayer. The word says that this poor man cried and the Lord heard them and delivered them from all of their troubles. And we're trusting and believing that you will do that, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody celebrate God. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, darlings, I'm telling you, whoo. I'm telling you, I said, you know, I was ready to end this thing and the spirit of the Lord came, came after. OK, <laughs> I was trying to end and the spirit of the Lord came. But I pray that you guys were blessed by what is said. We've got to support one another. We got to support one another because you know what? The things that we are doing in the earth, those who love the Lord, the things that we are doing in the earth now, time is winding up. And the Lord God is coming back again. Jesus is coming. He's going to crack the skies and he's going to come back again. Good to see you, darling. Uh, uh, it's Akila. Good to see you, sweetheart. <laughs> yes, indeed. I touch and agree with you, darling. I touch and agree with you. Um, Jesus is going to crack that sky and come back again. And everything that we are doing right now, somebody put right now in the chat box, everything that every idea God has given you, every invention God has given you, every business, every word he's given you to speak, Hallelujah, God. Everything that he's given us right now is working into his plan because he's coming back soon. Yes, lifetime is like a vapor. Life is like a vapor. That's what the that's what the word tells us. And listen, the old people say you got to work while it's day because when night comes, no man will work. And the work right now is going on. Listen, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And I just want to encourage you, um, um, Zakila, Lakeisha, Madonna, uh, uh, Reverend Payne, Reverend Andrew. Uh, let's see who else we got on here. Tracy, Wendy, Timeless. Good to see you, Timeless. Good to see you. Um, C4C Global. Oh my gosh, there's so many of y'all on here. Oh my gosh. And if I missed you, all y'all who are watching me in the overflow, all you who are going to watch me on the replay, and if you just got on here, I know William Michael Barbie, all of you guys, all of you, listen, every last one of you, God is using you. And it does not matter if it seems to you, it may seem to you, dear ones, that it's a small thing. Oh my God. 
Somebody put a small thing in the chat box. It may seem to you that it's a small thing, but in actuality, it's a big thing. If God gave you, if God told you to do it, it is a big thing. Oh my gosh. Somebody put big thing in the chat box. What may seem small to you, I had to put, look, I had to put my glasses back on so I see what I was doing. <laughs> it may seem small to you, but in God, it's a big thing. So do it with all, look, do it with all your heart. Do it with all your might. Don't worry what other people is thinking. No, no one, don't worry about what other people are saying. Just do it. And you know, Lakeisha, I believe LaDonna, I know C4C Global, some of us that the Lord has been using to minister uh, on social media. Um, I did, I think maybe about seven years ago, I got started. Some of you guys, maybe five years ago, whatever. Um, one of the various mediums and also we were doing conferences and stuff like that we were always always doing those things but you know it seemed weird it seemed weird when we were doing it but we just went on ahead and did it right we just went on ahead and been, been obedient and now we see the lord is putting everybody on it because the time is winding up and social media is a great way to reach the world to reach the masses and sometimes what god gives you may seem weird and sometimes what God gives you may seem small. And sometimes what God gives you, oh my gosh, sometimes what God gives you may seem like it's not relevant. But you go ahead and do it with all of your might. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad, Tequila. I'm so glad. You do it with all of your might because we are all part of an interworking of God's kingdom. God has a perfect plan. He works in order. He works in timing. And I don't care if he gives you cakes to bake and he has you delivering it to people's house with a smile. You go ahead and do that because you don't know, just like I gave this message here and Tequila said, this is words she needs to hear. You don't know what, even when this goes into the future, even when this goes into next week, I don't know who this is going to touch. I don't know who this is going to bless. So you go on and do what God gives you to do, no matter what other people are saying. But listen, before I leave out of here, because we talked about supporting others, that's what we talked about. So before I leave here, more importantly, first important is to do what God has given you to do. But the second thing is to support others and help them to do what God has given them to do. You may have to do that with an encouraging word. You may have to do that with your finances. You may have to do that with your presence. And very often you will have to do with your presence. Listen, you we're gonna have to learn to support one another. You're gonna have to learn how to put your money into these Christian businesses. You see people who love God and they got businesses, you need to support them. You see people who love God and they they get in the entertainment industry or they start in the ministry or they are uh, they they working on an invention. You need to support that. Oh, gosh, you need to support that. We like to support foolishness. But I'm, I'm, I'm declaring. Listen, I'm saying to everybody who's watching me, I don't care if you're the president all the way down to somebody. And I don't think that's down to somebody who sweep the floor because that's important. I don't care who, who you are and who's watching me. You got to learn to support what's right. You got to learn to support people who are trying to do what God has for them to do. Stop supporting this foolish stuff. People twerking and spinning on their neck and, and, and people who are um, spewing hate and racism and sexism and ages. We need to stop supporting that foolishness. Turn that stuff off and start support, supporting what you know that God has going forward. Support that. Don't you have these pastors struggling? Don't you have these uh, Christian business people struggling? Don't you have people who got ideas and, and they're trying to have a GoFundMe page to, to get their movie going and to get their invention going? Don't you have them struggling? You reach in your pocket and you support. You call and you support. You come to the shows. You come to the, the services. You support. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to get off of it. But I will tell you this, dear ones. Let me look at this. Let me look at these comments before I get off of here. Whew. But when I tell you when we do this one. When we, hey, welcome back, Wendy. Girl, you saving me because I'm telling you the spirit of the Lord is in here. When you do that. And you begin to support stuff that is God ordained and God backed. When you begin to do that, 
you're going to start to see things change. You're going to start to see things get in line. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be guilty of turning my back to somebody who is really trying to push God forward in their gifting, in their talents, in their ability. I don't want to be guilty of saying in the church, well, you can't sing because I'm jealous. I, you, I'm not going to let you sing or to ignore them or not to allow them to have a word. As long as it's in order, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be guilty of that. Y'all know I'm talking right. Y'all know I'm talking right. Y'all know. I'm not going to be guilty of that, preachers. In these ministries, I ain't gonna let her get up because she a woman. I ain't gonna let her get up because she sound better than me. I ain't gonna let him do this. I ain't gonna stop. Somebody put stop. Because God is coming back. And this word has got to go forward. And we ain't got time to be prejudiced and all kind of funny acting. This, this stuff is winding up. I need for you to support. I need you to shake that devil off. Because that, that's the devil when it's jealousy, when you're trying to hold somebody back. We just got finished reading that word. When you try to get in the way, that's God. That's that's not God. That's the devil. I need you to shake that devil off. And I need for you to support. Don't expect me to come up there and your broadcast supporting you 24-7 and you don't come up in mine. You got to look. Out of 20 broadcasts, you need to show up to one. Oh, God. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to go home. I know it may not be you, but it, I'm wrestling with somebody in here. Somebody who's watching me on the replay, somebody who's watching me on the overflow, or maybe even live. I'm wrestling with you. Let it go and let God. Well, <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> let me see if I got a few more messages before I do my outro, honey. Girl, my, Wendy, my girl Wendy Key got my back, so I must be saying something, honey. I must be saying something. Well, this is Tony Henderson Mayors. I got to go. But I can be reached on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayors. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And in this day and age of alternative facts, things spinning way out of control, God is still in control. He still sits on his throne. And until Jesus comes back, that's right. We got to learn to watch, fight, and pray. Take care. Hello there, this is Tony Henderson Mayer's television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media. What? You're not subscribed to the Wise Courtship philosophy? Oh my goodness, you've got to listen to this podcast so that you can get your free lifetime subscription as we help you get committed relationships, whole relationships that you're going to be satisfied with. No playing and no games. Find out what they're really about by tuning in.